August 2016, uh, I remember the last call with my mother, and she told me, don't call again. We had uh, a lot, a lot uh, suffering because of uh, your activism in U.S. and God bless you, don't call us again. Uh, that's the last phone call I had with my mother. My name is Elshad Hassan Kukpure. I'm an exiled Uyghur. I came to U.S. as a refugee uh, 2006. Uh, I'm also a victim of the communist Chine Chinese crimes against humanity and the genocide. One of my uh, my youngest brother was killed in 2004, 2004, 27th of November, after I fled China in 2003, uh, November. And then in 2014, the Chinese government arrested my elder sister, Elnor Hassan, in uh, uh, 15th of October uh, 2015 my father passed away because of uh, the killing of my brother and uh, arresting of my elder sister two of my sister my uh, elder one second one uh, was in a concentration camp with their kids husband uh, all family member and I don't know until today where about my mother, my younger sister, and other uncles, uh, aunts, all. They all yeah. lost contact. Xinjiang is a Chinese term. Uh, Xin means new. Uh, Jiang means border, uh, territory, uh, land. Uh, together it means new border, new land, new territory. And it was named by the Manqing Empire, not the modern day Chinese government, not the nationalist government, not the communist government. And it was uh, named in 18, uh, 19th century, late 19th century, after the Qing conquested this land. And in Uyghur's term, uh, and also it is a historical term, this land was called East Turkestan. And together with West Turkestan, which is uh, uh, Central Asian Five Republic, Kyrgyzstan, Kazakhstan, Uzbekistan, Tajikistan, Turkmenistan. And together it called Turkestan. Uh, Turkestan means Turkish land, uh, which is how the Turkish people all came from this land and this land historically uh, was part of the Turkish Empire and the official name of this land is uh, Xinjiang Uyghur Autonomous Region which means Uyghurs Autonomous Region and in 1949 uh, the Chinese Communist took over this land and given it uh, in 1955 the name of uh, Uyghur Autonomous Region. And its population is, Uyghur is uh, number one. Uh, until 1949, uh, the communists took over. Uh, the Han Chinese population was uh, around 5%. Never ever crossed 10, uh, 6 to 8%. And But now, uh, the Chinese population is almost half of the region. We were population uh, with a Chinese uh, sensor is uh, close to 12 million. And but uh, Uyghur scholars have a different view. Uh, some Uyghur, uh, especially uh, the exiled Uyghur in Turkey, uh, with their data, uh, with the historical data analysis, uh, especially the Uyghur Academy, uh, within their uh, calculation, the Uyghur population should be close to around 20 million. 
So this is a in question. Uh, but with the Chinese censor, uh, the new trend, and it was uh, shocking. Uh, the Uyghur population is, uh, especially the birth rate, is declining drastically. Uh, recently, the scholar Andrea Zins uh, with, uh, collected uh, data from the Chinese website, Chinese yearbook. Uh, he concluded that the Uyghur birth rate uh, entire the Uyghur region was declining almost like 50 percent and if uh, specifically focus on the Uyghur majority uh, region like Khotan, Kashgar then uh, the decline was almost like 80 percent that was a proof of genocide and the Chinese government in their website boasting they are uh, the Planned Parenthood was so uh, greatly enforced and uh, uh, etc and uh, that is very shocking and it is a proof of genocide the birth control uh, that's the reality now we are facing and Uyghur's demand is very simple there are our right cultural right our equal right our basic human rights and uh, that's it but Chinese government even this basic human rights they don't want to fulfill and they even denied what their constitution granted to the autonomous region to the Uyghur people the genocide, the Uyghur genocide is ongoing and uh, on 19th of February, the U.S. State Department, after investigation estimate, uh, they made the decision the Chinese atrocity against Uyghur is against humanity the crime of against humanity and a genocide and on uh, 22nd of February the Canadian uh, Parliament also passed a resolution which is declared that the atrocity the Chinese government inflicted on the Uyghur is genocide and two days ago the Holland Parliament as the third country also declared uh, the Chinese atrocity is a, a genocide against the Uyghur people why it's important for everyone to uh, concern to uh, care about this issue because the Chinese government's atrocity their goal is to occupy and get more land it's a ambition to rule the world and Uyghur people become their enemy not because their religion not because their race because their land the Chinese Communist Empire want to occupy the land and eradicate all the people on that if we can't stop this communist ambition over there and they will expand to the central asia and then creep into the europe uh, we are suffering and uh, hope uh, after you listen and uh, concern and to support the Uyghur and to follow Uyghurs in tweet, Facebook and read the news and to do your best to stand up against the communist China's genocide policy and do your best to stop the Chinese genocide against the Uyghur. Thank you.